Chris Gang, we are back like we never left and finally tuko eneo ya Matasia tumekuja kuuliza wa Kenya swali moja moto sana. But before I introduce today's question, make sure you mtufuatilia kwenye mitandao on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, subscribe to our YouTube channel because that is where we keep you up to speed with everything that is happening ndani ya Loto Moto. Swali yetu ya leo ni tunauliza wa Kenya wangepewa opportunity ya ku bring one person, one influential person back to life. Wanaweza chagua nani? Mind you, who you influential person and as a politician and as a musician, anybody you could think of. Ukiwa pale nyumbani, unadhani ni nani unaweza chagua ku bring back to life. Of course, mwenye anajibu swali yetu anatoka na 500 Kenyan shillings na mwenye anashindwa tunamwambia next time atabahatika. Twende kazi. Habari yako? Mzuri sana. Unaitwa nani na unafanya kazi gani? Naitwa Kevin, mimi ni mnafanya kazi ya pikipiki hapa Madasia. Wasi msani? Ah, mimi sio. Unaona uko na mabling bling kwa meno? Ah, bana tu hizi ni za kuattract my customer. Eh. Okay, sawa, habari yako? Fiti sana. Unaitwa nani na unafanya kazi gani? Naitwa Kiri, mimi ni mkazi wa Madasia na bado ni mwanabado wa boda hapa Madasia main stage. CBD. Sawa. So karibuni sana kwa shirika ni Street Quiz. Hapa tunauliza wa Kenya swali moja mwenye anajibu na anajielezea vizuri anatoka na 500 Kenyan shillings. So siri ni gani kujielezea? Sawa sawa. Swali yetu ya leo ni ukipewa opportunity ya ku bring back to life an influential person. Inaweza kuwa politician, inaweza kuwa musician, yani mtu yote. Unge bring back nani na ni kwa nini? Tuanze na nani? Eh? Diego Maradona. Diego Maradona. Wao ni nani? Ni one of the greatest people I know from football the fraternity. Eh huyo ndo alini inspire personally nikapenda ball na if at all ningepata one chance wallahi ningemrudisha at least ni have a conversation na eh Diego alikuwa anachezea timu gani namba gani Argentina namba 10 pale eh huyo ningemrudisha wallahi if the heavens wangesikia Diego Maradona could be back for me eh unaona kama ningekuwa back sasa yeye angekuwa anachezea timu gani sasa hizi eh probably Al Nasser Eh yeah, cuz I think uh, those are the teams the size watu wana, wanaangalia sana. But probably kama bado angekuwa uh-huh. na tunge have a conversation ningemwambia Manchester yeah, Manchester United. We need to Manchester. FC yeah. Uja uja tosheka na heartbreak. A uh, heartbreak tunapitia lakini ni strategy. Uh-huh. Eh yeah, si ni watu wa kuhurumia timu zote wakishinda tunawapatia tu lakini wangoje kichapo inakuja. Yeah. Swali so, lingine ya mwisho. Sasa hivi venye Diego hayuko. Unaona currently nani anakaribia skills zake? Kylian, Kylian Mbappe. Yes. Kylian Mbappe. Yes. Sawa sawa. Mmesikia. Okay, okay. I hope by now ushafikiria mse wako. Sasa decide. Ah yeah. mimi kama sasa hizi tungeninge mwani urudishe, ningerudisha mwa kibaki. Juu hiyo president wetu ni alikuwa anatuangalia masilahi. Juu unaona kama alikuwa ameleta free education. Eh? Yeah. Hatuko rateseka sana, wameongeza budget. Sasa unaona wewe ndio ningerudisha. Okay. Eh. Yeah. So apart from free education, nadhani ni nini ingine yenye Mwaiki baki alikuwa anapendewa sana? As in kama msaada chakula, una venye sasa hizi unapata government toy toy free food. Wanakula pesa kuko na corruption sana. Eh. Yote mwaiki baki kwa shauku na corruption. Kuko nayo sana sio kama sasa hizi. Eh. Yeah. Unaona nadhani ni strategies gani kibaki alitumia ku prevent corruption yenye sasa hii government sasa hii haitumi. Sasa shida sasa hizi unapata ofisadi ni wengi sana. Eh. Yeah. Sana hiyo wakati wako umeleta hiyo politics mingi sana sio kama ya saizi. Eh. Yeah. Okay, so guys, watching us at home, nilikuwa naongea na Voke na nani? Kiri. Kiri. So Voke na Kiri wamechagua completely different perspectives. Kiri amena na side ya football. Voke amekufa na po- polit- politicians, ndio? And I feel like both of them ametoa points valid sana, points kali. So mimi feel wametoshana but it all goes down to so say it all goes down to nani alijibu hizo wali wa kwanza cuz kidogo voke only only just sabotage mara ya kwanza but point yako nimependa sana point yako by the way kibaki was a very good president si ndio so it's about that time chagua mshindi wetu alewa and according to mimi acha tupe kiri hi punch but kiri please make sure voke amekunywa soda atakunywa kuna chai ya maziwa Eh. Hey. Aya sawa. Nge. Lazima nitatenga pesa yake ndani ya hii pesa. Lazima nitatenga kaungo kiasi kwake. Eh. Hey. Sawa. Sawa asante ni sana. Usisahau kucheza Loto Moto. I have 500 shillings here and I have two gents. Je, unadhani katikati ya hawa wawili ni nani atatoka na hii punch? Mko tayari? Mko tayari, mko tayari. Niko na swali moja. Swali ni eh uh, ungepewa chance ya ku bring back an influential person. Inaweza kuwa influential person wa any field politics 
uh, game, uh, football, music, any influential person ungechagua nani na ni kwa nini? Tuanze na nani? Tuanze na before kwanza ujibu nataka kuniambia jina jina yako na job una do. Meto Dinto. Tuseme tunafanya kazi yoyote tu. Aya, eh jina yako ni unafanya kazi gani na utuambie ni nani unaweza penda ku bring back to life? Eh mimi naitwa Masai, construction engineer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ule mtu unaweza need ku bring back to life. Yes. Eh anaitwa Pele. Eh. Pele ni nani? A famous footballer, Brazilian footballer. Yes. Okay, nini ni Pele alifanya during his time yenye ni exceptional sana mpaka ungependa ku bring back? Eh ameweka record mingi kwa ball, amefunga mabao mingi. Pia ni mtu amekuwa na charity huko Brazil. Yes. Alikuwa anacheza namba gani, timu gani? Alikuwa anacheza Brazil namba 10. Ndio. Sawa sawa. Currently una feel Pele nani anaweza kwa compared to Pele mwenye kwa live side? Eh, Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi. Yes. So to differentiate Pele na Messi, nani ako na mabao mob sana? Ah, sasa kwa sasa ni Messi. Eh, Messi. So Messi into the goat bado. Eh, yeah, the goat. Okay. Aha. Uh-huh. So for me, naweza dai kuwa local. Ile designer naweza sema Mr. Isa. Eh, yeah, the musician, the artist mwenyewe. Ju Isa amekuwa na legend ile designer. Kasa hii kuna time kume kumembo ngoma ya bandana ya Isa. Ile design bado kuna venye ana recall, kuna history na repeat itself. itself. Unaona? So mimi naweza sema Mr. Isa. Ni ngoma gani ya Isa unava nayo sana? Eh, na jamii yote mskuwa tuseme yote mskuwa anga around akio hit unaona lakini kulingana na venye mimi najua wao msi at least kuna venye eh, naweza tamani angekuwa around unaona at least ni mfeel jo wenyewe kuna ile positivity mingi alileta kwa street kwa street kuna ngoma yote unajua ya Isa kuna zao mingi najua mimi ile ile najua okay najua history yake najua ka documentary kake kiasi watch documentary eh ka documentary kake kiasi lakini kulingana na venye wase wana celebrate eh so mimi naweza sema yenyewe naweza taka kufeel yenyewe venye alikuwa anafanya wase wa feel lete bana alikuwa anawapata performance ya performance ya sawa sawa so guys wewe ni msanii chini ya maji construct bado unaona eh chini ya maji tu ah sawa sawa so eh huyo hapa hivi amechagua kwenda the musical direction amesema local kwanza Amesema yangependa sana. Eh, yeah, we dance I had before you dance abroad. Eh. Hey. Sawa. So tunaanza na home. Usiangalie mbali before ujaangalia home. Unaona? Eh, yeah, ndio hiyo. So, uh, right about now lazima miatano yetu ipate mwenyewe. And according to Mimi, I feel both of them are points valid. Si ndio? Sasa nyinyi mnaona nyinyi wote mmeto points valid. Lakini so tano si ni moja, lazima ipate MC. Uh, so according to Mimi, wacha nipe team Isa. He do. Sawa sawa. Only because the previous team peer to tulipata msi abejeleze akasema about mambo ya football. So nikipea na mambo ya football, the next team itakuja hapa tena najua atasema tena stories za football. So to strike a balance for diversity acha tupeane kwa team Isa, si ndio? Yes, yeah, so that is yours courtesy of Lotomoto. Eh nashukuru. Lotomoto, skuzombo. Skuzombo, wa? Okay. Next time. Sisahau kucheza Lotomoto. Yes beautiful people hapa ni kona Billy na Lewis sindio karibuni sana street quiz hapa tunaliza wa Kenya swali moja mwenye anajibu na anajielezea vizuri anatoka na 500 Kenyan shillings nani mko tayari yes swali yangu ni ukipewa opportunity ya ku bring one influential person back to life unaweza chagua nani na ni kwa nini tunataka nani Billy mimi naweza naweza revive a legend by the name Bob Marley eh jo impact in Lagos spreading love unity peace togetherness yo ni impact fit sana saina yo ni kitu yenye society ina need wase wa stick pamoja watu wapendane na hiyo ndo tu the gospel in it spread love unity and peace always yeah ningo magani by Bob Marley that you really love one love of course mm-hmm. yeah okay. <laughs> so do you believe bob marley ndo alikonga king of reggae ama eh uh, till now do wenyewe hata albums zake bado top sound 
bado nimekuwa maana eh namtambua sana yeah sawa sawa lewis bila hapa amechagua kwenda na the music industry akachagua bob mali je wewe mtachagua billy graham nani huyo billy graham alikuwa evangelist alikuwa from usc uh tena zataka ni let back into life ni sababu aliwin many souls na alisaidia wengi kuokoka akasaidia wengi ku transform their lives yeah na commit so much yeah that's one person za taka ku revive are you spiritual yeah somehow yeah. somehow like my 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 dad is a is a pastor he is a pastor that's nice now i get why unasema billy graham and get back to life yeah okay so umeongelea about him winning many souls Sindio anything else accomplishment ingine ni una nadhani alifanya Ali spread the word hiyo ni kitu moja um yeah like ali you feel like rudi sai inaza inaza create impact yeah generation sai do think anaza win souls za wase wa generation ya sai yeah nyingi sana yeah so boy uh, very powerful yeah spirit what do you think he did that evangelist wa sai hawafanyi um alikuwa na joad like when and i preach see ka when say wanna preach he alikuwa true aku after money but alikuwa after souls yeah all right hey tumemalizana na billy na lewis wote wamechagua very different paths billy amechagua music industry ameenda na bob male cause he was a very impactful reggae artist sindio na lewis amechagua billy graham because ame ali win souls za wase wengi sana alikuwa anajua where is that time to pay 500 shillings sawa sawa and i feel both of you may pay points valid sana valid valid na nasiki uchungu sana nikipea msemo moja hi punch so how about tunaweza 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 kwa na mkate nusu si ndio si ndio is it possible so lewis nitakukupea hi punch ushikilie but make sure bili amepata yake sawa so asanteni sana msisahau kucheza loto moto right now nimejoinwa na one gentleman na lady si ndio niko na swali moja moto mwenye anajibu na anajeleza vizuri anatoka na 500 Kenyan shillings sawa sawa before niwaambie swali nataka kujua jina zenu na kazi ambazo mnafanya mimi naitwa Lena Digige pia mimi ni mzee wa kijiji kazi yangu nafanya transport Eh. Hey. Sawa Mr. Ngige na wewe mami? Mimi naitwa Rose Karambu na kazi yangu ni ya kusu ni ya kusha matunda mimi nioka. Sawa niko na Mr. Ngige na Rose, si ndio? So swali yangu ni ukipewa chance ya kuleta one influential person back to life, unaweza chagua nani? Na huyu influential person anaweza kuwa ni musician, politician, mtu tu ambaye alifanya alikuwa na influence, alikuwa na nguvu. Ukipewa hiyo opportunity influence inaweza kuwa ni influence inaweza kuwa alikuwa influential kibiashara kipolitics eh ki music unaona eh and yani useme jina yake ama eh ukipewa chance ya kumleta arudi kuwa hai ni mtu mwenye aliaga an influential person mwenye aliaga upewe opportunity umlete arudi akuwe hai utachagua nani na ni kwa nini naweza kusema kama kama rais kibaki rais kibaki He was a economist. Na ni mtu alipeleka hii taifa la Kenya vizuri sana. Na hakukuwa na, na mambo kama haya tunaona ati yeye kama sasa vile deputy president anazubuliwa yeye hakutubua deputy wake hata kidogo. Aliendelea na maendeleo akakuwa na mtu wa maendeleo mpaka akaaga. Na hata akapewa alipewa wakati aliaga aliweza hata akapumzizwa na akapewa hesima yake ya mwisho vilivyo e, kwa hivyo mimi rais kibaki sitamsahau na hata nilisema nikasema kama ningeweza kukinga asiende i could do it so, lakini sababu hiyo ni mambo ya Mungu tukamusema tumuipatie hesima yake ya mwisho hmm. What do you think are some of the strategies zenye Mwaikibaki alitumia zenye umesema he was an economist na pia time yake fina, uh, financially uh, nchi yetu ilikuwa pazuri si ndio unadhani ni strategy gani alitumia ambazo government ya sai hawajazitumia yeye yeah, yeye yeah, 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 alikuwa yani 
ana talent kama kiongozi kutoka kwa Mungu na pia yeye akaheshimu wale waliomchagua kinyume na vile tunaona wale wako kwa serikali saa hii they don't respect the electors or the people who elected them hawaheshimu na hata zaingine hata mamara mingi kama we uwezi kuheshimu hata boss yako sababu mwana Kenya ule wale tunawachagua sisi we are the boss na kwa vile sisi ya watu wesimu tena ile kitu inaharibu sana ni kuwa their own selfish na lies kibaki hakuwa selfish sababu talent yake ilikuwa yeye ni kufanyia wale walimchagua kazi to serve okay. Yeah, okay rose ni nani wewe ungependa kumrudisha kwe hai mimi ni moi moi alikuwa mtu mzuri sana hata wakati wa moi watoto walikuwa wanafurahia sana watoto walikuwa wanakuja wa masiwa hata pesa ilikuwa inaokota sini lakini saa hii wasi wasi pata hata siligi 10 hata si economy ni sahi wakati wa moi economy ilikuwa mzuri sana lakini sahi economy iko juu sahi tulikuwa tunaenda hiyo vitu setu unauza hiyo matunda haraka haraka unamaliza wakati wa moi lakini saa hii unaaso sana kabla kabla hata umaliza hiyo matunda sasa mimi nilikuwa nasema moi alikuwa mtu mzuri sana moi una unampendea kwa sababu wakati wake economy ilikuwa sawa economy ilikuwa sawa hata hata bodyguard wake hakuwa na wasumbua mm mm mimi moi nilikuwa nampenda sana hata watoto walikuwa wanakunywa masiwa sule lakini sasa hiyo asipata kitu kama hiyo mm nisangike rose hapa anasema moi alikuwa alikuwa chonjo Watka, wewe unasema nini kuhusu hiyo? Wewe umechagua Kibaki. Mimi nasema Kibaki. Na, na niseme Moi, yani Moi yeye yeah, hata kama alifanya hiyo mambo, yeye yeah, alikuwa mtu dikteta. Alikuwa dikteta. Na tena hata yeye yeah, alikuwa mtu wa alikuwa na vita zake hapa na hapa. Lakini Kibaki Kibaki ni kama vile na kuambia kibaki kitu ya kwanza hakuwa selfish na kukosa kuwa selfish dipo akaweza kuwa yani ana target ya kufanya ili kufanyia watu wa, wa, wa ntike nini tena ni mtu alikuwa na talent amepewa na Mungu alikuwa na, na kitu kinaitwa humanity ndani yake na dipo akakuwa aka anaweza ana kufocus the future of the nation ikakuwa vile ilikuwa haya sawa asante sana so guys nilikuwa naongea na Mr Ngige and of course mami wetu hapa anaitwa Rose kila mtu venye nilimuuliza swali kila mtu amechagua direction yake even though so we are all under the same bracket politics Mr Ngige hapa amesema akipewa chance yeye anaweza penda kibaki arudi Rose amesema Moi is hard to go person kwa sababu za reasons zake kila mtu ametoa reasons zake ukiwa pale nyumbani which team are you are you team Ngige niki support Moi kibaki are you team Rose niki support Mr Moi sindio it's about that time to pay him ya tano yetu so according to me because of the reasons na feel Mr Ngige ende na hii pesa So Mr Ngige this is 500 Kenyan shillings courtesy of Lotto Moto. Muzi zao kucheza Lotto Moto. Hapo ni Butterfly Care Center. Na watoto hao wanahitaji proper improvement kwa dormitories, classroom, kitchen, vyo, mahali pa kuogea na mahali pa kuchezea. Pamoja tuna nguvu na ndio maana star fight. 70 hash option 4 kuna probox na 1 million Kenyan shillings inamaanisha kila stick ambao unacheza nayo ili kushinda probox au 1 million part of it inatengwa ili kuimarisha maisha ya watoto wa butterfly care center iko na ni mpya na inakufaa na ni star 570 hash option ya 4 pamoja tuchezi tu tunasaidia na tunashinda